All right, it's been a hectic morning already. It's December 1st, 2020. We're standing on top of my roof. In fact, we're standing on the garage right now. And I wanna flip the camera around because the roofers came one day early, which I think is honestly kind of a surprise in the roofing world. Seems like a profession that is, I don't know, it's been an interesting one. I'll say that much, but what's going on here? So we have this torch down style roof with these parapet walls here on my property. We're gonna obviously clear all this debris off. But um, what's going on is, the remodelers basically just put on another layer of this torch down. You can see some old skylights here. So I'm having this replaced. I'm having all of the roof right here replaced because I'm putting solar on. So if I'm putting solar on, this is about 10 years old already. It's somewhat shoddily repaired by the remodelers who flipped this house. So I'm gonna put a new roof on. I'll reset it to a 20, 25 year lifespan and then put the solar on. And what's nice is if you do the roof and solar at the same time, then the roofers and the solar installers can coordinate. So what they'll do is they'll do the tear down today. So they're tearing the roof off. And then what they're going to do tomorrow is the solar company will come out and put what are called the stanchions down, which is what's holding the solar panels in place. And then they'll finalize the roof. And what's nice about that is then they can seal it. What they would be able to do is let's imagine, you know, this is a little stanchion they would be able to properly seal around it because they already know where it's going to be. They came a little early. I've got some work to do inside. I'm gonna let them get to it, but I'm super excited. This is the biggest project so far at the Epic Homestead. It's been about an hour or so, and you can see the guys are hard at work. They've taken off quite a bit of this back section right here. Just making sure that this roof, when it gets taken off, doesn't spill because what you can see if we get in here is there's some gapping on the roof. This roof is just, I guess like a two by eight or something. So they're gonna cover the whole bottom of the garage with plastic wrap so it doesn't mess up. But take a look. This is what a torch down looks like when it's uncovered. Pretty wild looking. So day two of the roofing continues. Looks like we got a couple more guys here doing the tear down. So we've got a lot more to do. It's looking pretty good. Woke up to the sound of my roof being uh, pounded on. So that's called the homesteading alarm clock. But we're going to get going, guys. Excuse the hair. <laughs> wow, that looks really sloppy. <laughs> All right, most of the garage is now off. These parapet walls are obviously a little bit more challenging. But you can see the spacing there compared to the plywood. And it looks like we have the rest of that getting done right now. So the roof job continues. We found some interesting issues over here where there's like a, there's a bunch of screws coming up right there. You can see. And it's just someone who, whoever owned this before, they screwed panels upwards through that and it's causing a leak. So this has to get replaced. But it's going well. So the garage roof came off a lot easier. And this stuff over here is way stickier. And there's just some really interesting things that you learn, like this thing broke right here with just some pressure. Obviously this is just an odd roof system. Um, over here comes off a little easier and then over there came off the hardest and still is coming off. So it's just a idea that this roof is the oldest, second oldest and newest right here. The teardown saga continues. It looks like they're getting some of the boards ready. We've got these plywood boards right here. Those are gonna go right there to replace that rotted out section. There were some screws coming up through that messed with the roof system, so it rotted this board and a little bit of that board. And so these boards, I guess when you do a roof, it's just a per board price uh, for any extra boarding that needs to be done. So that's gonna apply to over there, and it's gonna apply to over there. So it adds about six to $750 to the cost, depending on how many boards need to be used. But um, my philosophy has been do it correctly the first time so that this is probably the only roof I have to put on this house and so if I have to spend a couple thousand extra dollars now I'd rather do that than skimp out on that and then just suffer the consequences later. Plywood's going down now on the um, garage section. You can see some of these bad planks were also replaced. The rest of them are, honestly, they're fine. They just look old, because they are old, but they're fine. That broken one there was also replaced, but everything else, looking pretty smooth. All of the extra gear is up here now.
that's the underlayment. Over here we have the coping that'll eventually go and a lot of this other gear right here. So some interesting developments here up on the roof. Let me just walk you through what's going on up here. We've got the plywood down on the garage, which I think is fantastic. It's gonna let it last quite a bit longer. This plywood is pretty good, save for a piece that needs to go in right there. And then of course this piece that you guys already know about. But up here, take a look. This is the old roofing system from I believe the 40s. So it's sort of an older style. It's the same as the one that was on this garage over here. So we are going to throw plywood on top. We're gonna to do radiant barrier plywood, which has an R value of 24, I believe, compared to the right here in the garage and this plywood here that just has an R value of. Uh, it's gonna be a little more expensive. I believe it's gonna add about $2,100 to the cost of the roof, but I would much rather have that now than just have a new TPO roof that has to get replaced at some point in the future, way earlier than its lifespan. So. Another sort of annoying little thing. So the two major changes to this roofing project have been, number one, we need about 35 sheets of plywood to put all over here. And then number two, this coping right here. This goes over the top here as this parapet style wall. So if the TPO comes up like that, you have to actually have, you don't have to, but it's recommended to have this come over the top so that you have a completely sealed system. So that's what's going on. It's gonna be a little bit more time, but We'll see, good luck, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So this here is the uh, radiant barrier plywood, the shiny, kind of red on the side, I don't know what's up with that, but looks solid, it's gonna go on top of the roof. It feels very, very solid. Waterproof, yeah, going right up there. So the radiant barrier is up on the roof now, and what happened is I was gonna have the solar done, but all this has to be covered with that radiant barrier before they put their stanchions down. And so this is gonna be an all day project where this is gonna all get covered. It'll look nice and shiny, at least for a little bit. And then the solar company will come put their stanchions like right over there. And then with the rest of the TPO roofing job. All right, it's 4.30 PM on the third, I think. And most of the roof has been plywooded out with that uh, barrier plywood. So there you go. There's this little section right here that needs to get done. This section right here needs to get done. That section is actually the part where the solar would have been because the trees would have been right there, but they're not anymore. And so I'm curious to see tomorrow what the solar company will do, but that'll be for another video today. We're focused on the roof. We still have a lot more to do. After this is done, this has to go down. This is the underlayment for the TPO and is right there and that has to go down as well. So there's still quite a bit to do, honestly. I'm not doing any of it, they're doing it, but uh, it, it is quite a process. It's, it's kind of fun and fascinating to see how it works. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's a very nerdy video, but anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It's day five of the roofing project. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. So let me show you first right around here. These are the parapet walls. And so what we've done or what they've done is put on some plywood to just protect these sides because it's basically just empty framing right there. But then here they've ground off the tops because of the metal that they're going to put over the top. You'll see that sort of like a cap that will come like this. It'll go and then just like that. Uh, so that'll be kind of nice. Um, but what's going on right now over there is the underlayment. So it's this material right here. Um, so it's going to be this and then the TPO, which is in these huge rolls that are ex actually, these things are super heavy. I can like barely lift one. Uh, so it's exciting. We've probably got another couple days because the uh, TPO is sort of a detail oriented process and then um, they've got to do it around and then they have to do it around the solar stanchions which are right here. So all the solar will be going in this section right over here and right now they're just putting on the uh, underlayment. The underlayment is pretty much complete. There are some spots over here that aren't finished up yet, but for the most part it is. I just want to show you a couple things. Number one, that the roofing guys found that the remodelers who flipped this place cheaped out on, and in fact, in my opinion at least, is pretty unethical. So I will show you that in just a second, but let me just show you the good stuff first. So all of this underlayment has gone down. I really like these little fasteners. Again, super cool. Uh, we have the stanchions for the solar that are right here. There's one stanchion back here. So the solar, that's south over there. So the solar needs to face this way. And so they need to get a piece right here that's about 15 inches high. So it'll go to about maybe there or so. That needs to get installed, but they could still do this part of the roof. 
So most of it's done. I need to make sure I'm very careful and not tripping. There's the TPO right there. But let me get down off the roof. I wanna show you something that is pretty, pretty crappy. So right there, underneath the roof, this soffit right here is underneath the roof, and it's rotted out, and the way that they hit it is by putting this paper and wood mixture of trash basically up there to firm it up so that an inspection wouldn't be able to tell. And you could see also right there, we pulled the paper out, but there was paper underneath there, like newspaper stuffed in there to make it seem as if it wasn't getting hit by termites, which is just completely unethical in my opinion. Honestly, I have half a mind to call them out on it and kind of put them on blast. I'm curious what you guys think. Again, this is my first house. I don't know how common this type of stuff is, but it feels pretty scummy to do that. And it just is further work that I'm gonna to have to do in this house. But the roofing in general is going well. So I'm happy about that. So today the drip edge has gone down. You can see the fascia board has been replaced over here. Some of this rot we still have to fix, but drip edge is down. And then up there, the guys are doing some of the TPL. The guys at Baja Roofing also installed this new wall here along the garage because otherwise the slope would have been really weird coming in to here. Uh, so I think it'll look nice. It'll be a nice clean way. They don't have to design something custom besides this one piece of wood and that'll make a nice wrap around across over into the awning. We are in the TPO phase of the roofing. The sky looks like it's on fire right now. It very well might be. We've still had some fires here in Southern California, but I wanted to show you just a little bit of how it works. So the TPO is this material right here. So the light side is up and this gray side is down. So what happens is it gets heat welded. So this part right here is running down the slope. So obviously this one would be the high side. And then this, you would think you could flip it up, but you can't because it's been literally melted together on top of each other. And then they start sealing off these corners as well in a similar fashion. And then what's interesting about my house is there's these parapet walls on everything. Like right here, for example, it comes up instead of just running straight off like this awning does. So we're gonna use this coping metal to go across all of the tops just like this so that we properly seal it. Because if we didn't, water could in theory run slightly over time underneath that TPO layer, which you wouldn't want to have happen. So when you have the coping metal, what will end up happening is water will either run off the metal surface into the roofing system or properly over the edge into the actual ground. Well, here we are, it's been a while. It took around two weeks with some days off to get the roof done. I would say about seven to eight working days. So the guys did a fantastic job. I'm really, really pleased with it. You can see a little hint of the skylight here and I'll show you some clips as I wrap this project up for you. But number one, really pleased with the work. Yes, it did cost a little bit more than I wanted it to cost. Part of that was I didn't know what was under the roof until I took the roof off. And the second part of that is some of this parapet style on the roof did add some extra cost because I wanted that metal coping to go around. I want longevity. I'm trying to build a modern homestead here that stands the test of time. So that means doing it right up front. You know, they say if you're buying a bad product, prepare to buy it twice or some saying like that. Certainly with the roof literally over your head, I think it makes sense to invest a little bit for some extra longevity down the road. The solar will be coming in soon. Stay tuned for that here on the Epic Homesteading channel. But man, I'm really pleased, again, like I said, with the work. The guys did a lot of these little extra bonuses that I've never had a roof done, but I don't think a lot of roofing companies would have done that. I'm sitting on this extra parapet wall that was built out to form a better seal from the garage to the awning. They also jacked up the garage just slightly because it was sagging and added some reinforcement beams. Fantastic job on the cleanup and the pickup great customer communication. So I think a lot of people say that roofing is a tricky business to get done. A lot of people are unreliable in that business, etc. I certainly didn't find that to be the case. So if you're interested in roofing, check out the description. I want to promote a quality small business if I can. So I'm going to do that. But guys, I'm super pleased. I never thought I'd be this excited about a roof in my life. I actually am. I find myself coming up here. Spoiler alert, the sunsets actually are pretty epic off the top of this roof. I don't really want to be up here too much because it's not meant to be walked on 24 seven. However, I might take a few sneak peeks and I hope you really enjoy these types of videos here on the channel. I certainly am excited about them and there's a lot more to come, including the solar, which should be coming any day now. So stay tuned, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.